I always wanted to make my own yard decorations for Christmas. So I started with Grinch. I had a lot of people ask how I made them. So I'm putting together this video on how to make your own yard decorations. Here's the supplies you'll need for this project. Not in the shot are half inch plywood and angle iron to use for the stake. I used the projector and the jigsaw, the machine screws and nuts, lock washers and flat washers. I used a sharpie for marking, screwdriver and box end wrench, various paints and rollers and paint brushes, a drill and water-based polyurethane to seal it. Okay, I've pre-cut my wood down to the approximate size that I want my snowman to be. That just makes it easier for me to maneuver it around. Now I'm going to paint it white. There's a couple of reasons for this. The first reason being when I have a white background and I project the image up onto the white background, I'll be able to see it a lot better to trace it. Another reason is to have the colored paints stand out better if they have a, back, a white background. And bonus, it's a white snowman. Painting it white, I'm almost done. Pro tip, I have added vanilla extract to my paint just to make it smell a little less like paint and a little more fresh. Okay, now that my board is prepped, painted white, ready to go, I'm ready to transfer my image onto my board. I'm using a projector. I've plugged my phone in, but you can use whatever device you need to use to transfer your image up onto the board, and then I'm going to trace it with a Sharpie. Okay, I'm pretty sure that my image is transferred. I'm going to turn off my projector just to make sure that everything is done the way I want it to do. I see that I'll probably need to put one more stripe there and maybe blend these two stripes together. Other than that, I think we're pretty good. Now I have all the lines where I want them. I'm going to take it out to the garage and cut out the outside. Okay, the next step is to start trimming out the edges. You'll see me make a first pass, not up against the line, just a kind of rough cut, and then the second pass I'll get in closer. The reason I make that first pass is so that I have room for the blade to get in there and make those clean cuts the second time around. I'm just using my standard DeWalt jigsaw. Okay, now we're ready to make that second pass right up against the line. It's all cut out, ready to take inside and paint. Okay, now we're ready to paint. When I did the Grinch, I bought quart size of six different colors and that was pretty expensive. We ended up just using a tiny bit, so it was overkill. So this time around, I'm using acrylic paints. I just picked them up at my local craft store. Even Walmart carries them and they're pretty cheap. They're like $1.50 each. So this is what I'm using. I have my image up on my phone so I can reference it whenever I need to. I have a variety of different kinds of brushes, pointed, flat, so that I can get into those detailed areas. And let's get to it. Now that we have it all painted, one thing I forgot to mention, after I painted, I went back and marked all the edges with a Sharpie just to define everything and make everything stand out. You'll notice when you do your project, it just it just makes such a difference with that little step of, well, long step for all these lines, but little step of just outlining things. Now that we're done outlining and painting, it's time to seal it. And I'm just using polyurethane water-based sealer. Um, I'm going to make sure I get a really good coat on the front and on the back and especially on the edges because it's going to be outside in the weather and, you know, rain, snow, whatever. I just want to make sure that I don't ruin all my hard work. So let's get started. As you can see, it's milky white. It goes on milky white, but it will clear as it dries. So don't get scared if you see 
it not clear to begin with. Now that my snowman is sealed on the front and the back and especially around the edges because that's where the weather is going to get to it, I have, I'm ready to put the angle iron on and mount it to the back. I'm going halfway up the angle iron and I made sure that it's going to be level with the ground. Normally, I paint the back of my characters black, but because it's only a week before Christmas and I want to get him out there so that he can enjoy being out in the yard before Christmas, I am going to go ahead and paint the back side after Christmas. So now we're just making our measurements to where to drill the holes. Pushing through from the front, I'm going to have a machine screw and a flat washer. Just push it in. The hole's pretty tight, so I'm just going to screw them in by hand. All right, get my bracket in there. My locking washers. And a nut on each one. ready for the yard. As you can see, this was a fun and easy project. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and we'll see you next time on the TaylorMade Workshop.